like John Deere's new 2025R. Here, sitting right next to a, a 1025. Kind of get an idea of size there. This is considerably larger. The steering wheel is at chest level to me. Much larger tires, but it shares a lot with the 1 Series. It looks just like a 1 Series, only bigger. Even the deck looks the same. Some pretty heavy duty linkage. Hydraulic steering. Two sixty B backhoe. I like the fact that it comes with its own seat. The hoses are tucked in and out of the way. It's a pretty nice improvement right there. Storage for the locking pins. And this is the sixty D, so look how much. The, the deck isn't that much larger than the tractor itself, width-wise. Notice the toolbox on the front. And this has the optional LED uh, work light package. Pretty nice looking tractor. <laughs> Versatile. Pretty similar to a nine series John Deere. Ferris I-3200Z, four-wheel suspension, 37 horsepower, fuel-injected Briggs & Stratton Vanguard with the oil guard system on it. It's a dry sump oil system. Oil filter lives right there under the cap, and that's your dipstick. 26-inch tires, and the deck is suspended from the suspension so you get a smooth cut so here we are at the National Farm Machinery Show with Ken from Ken's Bolt-On Hooks and we're looking at a a massive combine here the Lexion 750 and we're just looking underneath the hood at this complicated piece of equipment. And admiring the engineering. Yeah. Very impressive. 
there's a massive automatic greasing machine. Some huge pulleys and sheaves and belts. That idler there is hydraulically controlled. There's a piston that operates that idler, I guess. The engine's up there somewhere. Is that the engine up there that we're looking at? The end of the crankshaft? Yeah, I would guess that that's the main drive, yeah. Simulators over there. And the hydraulics. Um, and then the, then the tracks on this thing. Holy cow. Big old chain drive. That must be the auger right there. 